In the last years, GoPro has continuously succeeded in improving its own camera. Constant improvements have also become necessary, as the competition has become stronger and stronger. With the Osmo Action, there is now a serious alternative and smartphones are also more and more using cameras with extreme wide-angle lenses. While last year the most significant improvement was seen in the image stabilization, this year the body was redesigned, the stabilization has been improved and the image quality has also been improved. The colors were slightly modified and the maximum bitrate was raised to 100 megabits per second. In this video I will compare the image quality of the new GoPro Hero 8 to the image quality of the Hero 7 Black. I would like to see what changes have been made to the colors and I am especially interested in the skin tones. I will test the effects of the higher bitrate and whether the new shots show more details, what difference there are in the dynamic range and how the new camera performs in low light. Please keep in mind that the footage of the GoPro suffers a lot from the YouTube compression. For optimal results, you should activate the maximum resolution in the YouTube settings. For current prices and offers for the Hero 8, I put some links in the video description. My name is Werner, I live in the Italian Alps and this channel is about filmmaking tutorials, GoPro and other consumer cameras. If you are interested in these topics, consider subscribing and have fun with this video. I have made a large number of comparison shots in the last few days. Today I show you only a selection of them, also because the results were always the same. In these first shots you can see that the colors of the two cameras are very similar. However, the image of the Hero 8 is clearly more saturated and richer in contrast than the image of the Hero 7. Overall, I like the colors of the new GoPro actually very much. You can see a big difference in the white balance in this shot that I took in the evening during the blue hour. The Hero 8 has clearly warmer colors, while the Hero 7 chooses a cooler, bluish white balance with this light. We will come to a comparison of the image noise later. Here you can see the comparison with a flat color profile. The same applies as before. The image of the Hero 8 has more saturation and contrast, which is not quite optimal in this case, as more details are preserved for color grading at a low contrast. Then I made a few comparisons at higher frame rates. Here at 2.7K and 120 frames per second. Apart from the contrast and the colors, there are hardly any differences. The image of the Hero 8 is slightly cropped because the stabilization is active here, while the Hero 7 does not support image stabilization at 120 frames per second and 2.7K. Maybe the image of the Hero 8 looks sharper and more detailed, but the difference is small. This is a comparison at 4K60. The same applies as before. The image of the Hero 8 seems to be a bit less noisy in the dark areas, which probably won't be visible on YouTube due to the compression. Let's look at the skin tones now. The color of the skin tones is probably the most important color when it comes to photos and videos. The skin tones look more saturated on the Hero 8. They clearly have more orange than the skin tones of the Hero 7. It depends on the personal taste whether this is better or not. On the new GoPro you can increase the bitrate to 100 megabits per second by setting it to high in Protune. This should improve the image quality but leads to larger file sizes. Let's have a look at some comparison shots. Here I capture the same scene once with the low bitrate and then with the high bitrate that supports 100 megabits per second under 4K. I would have to lie if I said I could tell a relevant difference. However, I think it's premature to pronounce a final judgment in this respect. Dynamic range is about how well a camera can handle situations where there are both bright and dark areas in the same image. So let's see if there are any differences to the Hero 7. The dynamic range between the Hero 8 and the Hero 7 is hardly any different when you look at these shots. This would also have been surprising since the two cameras probably have the same sensor and the same image processor. The main difference is that the Hero 8 is more saturated and richer in contrast. With this shot you can see that the Hero 8 exposes a bit darker. As a result, details are lost in the dark part of the image but more details remain in the clouds. That means in the very bright area. Finally, let's take a look at how the camera behaves in low light conditions. That is, whether it produces less noise than the Hero 7 at high ISO values. I fix exposure settings, that means I set the shutter speed manually and then gradually increase the ISO value. 
As already mentioned, the Hero 8 opts for a different white balance. In addition, you can see that the Hero 8 has slightly less noise in the dark areas of the image. The differences are small, but still visible. So there has been some progress here. Nevertheless, you should ideally keep the ISO value below 800. At the latest from 1600, the shot is no longer usable. With this, I would like to say goodbye for today. If the video was interesting for you, give me a like as feedback and see you next time.